There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued and the prospect of actually knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be exploring everything from rogue, free-floating planets to galaxies which seem to be missing their dark matter in three interesting discoveries. SIMP J01365663 plus 0933473 You may be wondering what exactly this refers to. Well, scientists have discovered a huge rogue object floating around our stellar neighborhood with an extremely strong magnetic field. The most intriguing part is that it is in no way at all attached to any other object out in space. In other words, it does not orbit a parent star of any kind. Using the Very Large Array radio telescope, astronomers were able to detect the miscellaneous object, which sits 20 light-years away from Earth. Aside from the discovery itself, this is of huge scientific importance as it represents the first planetary mass object which has been detected using radio telescope. With its dimensions only just making it into the planetary classification bracket, the new discovery is 12.7 times more massive than Jupiter, making it so big that it verges on being more like a brown dwarf, also known as a failed star. According to the definition presented by IAW Working Group on Extrasolar Planets, a brown dwarf more specifically refers to an object too small to produce hydrogen fusion, the dominant energy-producing method seen in stars, but is still large enough for deuterium fusion a process crucial to the formation of new stars. They tend to range in sizes between 13 to 80 times the mass of Jupiter. Being 12.7 times larger, SIMP J01365663 plus 0933473 sits on the border of planet versus brown dwarf, and an astronomer from Arizona State University has said that this phenomenon could give invaluable insight into understanding the magnetic processes of both stars and planets. The planetary mass discovered, as mentioned, has a very strong surrounding magnetic field. This supports newer theories that brown dwarfs do engage in magnetic activities, whereas up to 2001 it was thought they did not emit any radio waves. In fact, the magnetic field that astronomers found in this case was a whopping 200 times the strength of Jupiter's own magnetic field. It's suggested that its radius is only 1.22 times the size of Jupiter's, despite being significantly more massive, and estimates suggest that it is only about 200 million years old. In extraterrestrial terms, this makes it an infant, which makes sense considering it was found in a cluster of very young stars. With the potential for this discovery to really allow scientists to make headway in understanding magnetic fields of planets, stars and gas giants, it is an exciting time for astronomers and who knows what else lies lurking in space for us to find. Galaxy is missing all of its dark matter, and scientists cannot explain it. Current theories predict that sparse galaxies simply must be held together by dark matter, as there are no other explanations as to their internal structure if this is not the case. Therefore, when astronomers found a distant galaxy that appears to contain not a single trace of dark matter, existing dark matter theories were thrown into chaos. The galaxy is called AGC 114905 and sits roughly 250 million light-years away from Earth. It is almost as large as the Milky Way in size, however, contains roughly a thousand times fewer stars than our own galaxy. Being so sparsely populated with stars, it begs the question what else makes up this galaxy to hold it together. Scientists have had to rule out dark matter, which supposedly makes up 85% of all matter in the universe, after measuring the galaxy with the very large array and finding no traces of dark matter present. A fluke, you say? The research team coordinating the study found the results odd, and even after repeating data collections and spending 40 hours measuring the galaxy with one of the world's strongest radio telescopes, results kept coming in negative for dark matter. While the research team is pleased that their results have been consistent all along, 
it does disprove previous theories that similarly sparse galaxies were held together by dark matter. In fact, they later went on to say that the difference between theory and observation is only getting bigger. Their studying of this particular galaxy was no accident. Previous glances at AGC 114905 suggested it lacked the expected dark matter, and it is not the first evidence that similar galaxies with absolutely no dark matter do exist. In 2018, a team of Yale astronomers found a different galaxy, which presented the same composition profile, causing its own confusion back in the day. However, the techniques and methods used in this recent study are more robust and reliable, and thus now call the dark matter theory into serious question. How will scientists explain these findings? It will be interesting to see. Wasir J114724.102040 1.3 We have already seen just how much there is we do not know for sure about space, and how much there is to discover every day about our very own universe. Similar to the case of SIMP J01365663 plus 0933473, the free-floating planet Brown Dwarf, Another free-floating planetary mass object has been found by NASA, called Wasaya J114724.102040.1. Or Wasaya 1147 for short. Using data from their Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE, and the 2 micron All-Sky Survey, scientists were able to identify this object situated in the middle of a young star family called the TW Hydrae Association. It has been decided fairly conclusively that Wasaya 1147 must be some form of brown dwarf rather than a planet. This is because it appears to be only about 10 million years old, and planets need at least this long themselves to form. Being a free-floating object, this makes Wasaya 1147 too young to have developed as a planet and then been ejected from orbit of some central star, and thus it must be a brown dwarf in its own right. Adam Schneider of the University of Toledo in Ohio has said that they will have to keep observing the object and tracing its history to determine for sure if it was indeed formed in isolation. It is hoped that discoveries such as this one will reinforce the importance and opportunities within this newly emerging field of astronomy, trying to accurately determine the nature of free-floating objects in space and ultimately allowing us to better map out how many planets there are versus brown dwarfs in the universe. Finding low-mass objects such as brown dwarfs is something that NASA's WISE and two-mass technologies are specifically suited to, as they are both able to detect infrared light. Brown dwarfs are not bright enough to be detected with visible light-only telescopes, but their heat signatures can be picked up by infrared imaging, meaning there is a good chance we will see more similar discoveries coming in soon from these two data sources. Astronomers have actually now announced that our galaxy is likely teeming with free floating planets, many of which we have yet to discover and study. There is so much more to learn and discover about our own planet, its neighbours and the parts of space currently further away than we can imagine. And we are making headway every day. But what do you make of these discoveries and announcements? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.